COVID cases keep climbing in Minnesota. While most are less severe, the weekly case rate has doubled statewide in the past month. Today, the health department reported nearly 2,000 new cases and five deaths. Hospitalizations are also up. As WCCO's Kirsten Mitchell reports, the trend has the city of Minneapolis recommending indoor masking again. It's kind of exciting to travel at the first conference I've been to in three years. As visitors like Megan Parisi descend on Minneapolis for a jam-packed weekend of sporting events and conferences, city officials hope they remembered their masks, which are now recommended to be worn indoors regardless of vaccination status. Walked through this highway this morning to get coffee and I didn't see a lot of people with masks. If surgeons can wear it to perform surgery on you, I can wear it. Uh, without a problem. While the city of Minneapolis is reporting high community transmission, the CDC categorizes Hennepin County as a whole to be at low risk. Wabasha and Olmstead counties, however, are seeing high transmission along with Barron and Russ counties in Wisconsin. We don't want to get to a point where hospitals are overwhelmed and we're, we're in that situation again. In Minneapolis, the seven day new case rate since mid March has increased by 340%. While the dominant Omicron subvariant, BA2, appears to be less severe, hospitalizations are creeping up, though nowhere near levels seen earlier in the pandemic. COVID is not gone away. Uh, the trends are not going in the right direction. And so we know masking is a good preventative measure. I got all, all the parents who, uh, you know, I need to take care of and spend time with. And I think that, uh, you know, some more masking is, is important. We'll see, you know, how adherent people are and what people's you know, risk tolerance is. In Minneapolis, protect yourself, protect your community, protect those around you. Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. A new wastewater data released today identifies traces of a new faster spreading variant driving up cases in other parts of the country. Still, the BA2 variant accounts for 97% of the viral material found in our wastewater.